Um, first of all, I would like to express my uh, sincere thanks to the organizer for letting me uh, to present uh, in this conference and exchange view with other presenter. Um, I'm Mr. Choi from uh, <coughs> Hong Kong. Um, my topic is my topic today is a holistic development model of community-based info uh, ISIC of Yunnan District in Hong Kong of China. First of all, <coughs> I would like to uh, show you this Hong Kong map. Uh, there are 18 uh, administrative districts in Hong Kong and uh, the Yunnan District uh, is so on number nine, which is near the border uh, with China. And uh, it's, it's a new territory uh, of uh, the whole Hong Kong. Uh, unlike the downtown here, uh, near, the, near the border means that uh, which are uh, with ICH. Uh, they, this is a coastal map of uh, Yunnan district. Uh, from uh, the <coughs> low rise uh, house, uh, there are villages. Uh, and the green bell uh, with the green bell. Uh, that means uh, this area with uh, which, which needs in ice age. Uh, Yunlong Community Intangible Cultural Development Project is a proposal of the Life Encouraging Fund, a non-governmental organization based in the Yunlong District. This pilot project is an example of an NGO working for community-based ICH education and transmission with a holistic development model it covers all five domains of ICH uh, in the district with priority to element on the representative list for development as a whole. Uh, from this chart, uh, you can see on the left uh, hand side, uh, there are five domains prescripted uh, in the convention and the pended, uh, and the corresponding pend activity for each uh, domain is on the uh, left-hand side of this chart. I would uh, introduce uh, them one by one. Mr. Kai Kong Choi, yeah. excuse me, uh, please do the screen share of your PPT. I oh, cannot so see any, yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Can I see this now? Yes, thank you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, well, let me continue. Um, the first, dom uh, the first domain uh, is oral traditional and expression. The corresponding activities is Waitau dialect interactive classroom. Uh, the Waitau dialect is declining even in villages. The NGO facility native villagers to conduct dialect course courses using vocabulary taught about daily religious life. The content is focused on the traditional ritual and practice of villagers. Small car size encourage participants to interact by speaking with one another. Classes are conducted in a religious school on weekends to encourage the learning environment. The second domain is performing arts. Uh, the corresponding activities is Cantonese opera demonstration performance. Cantonese opera was inscripted onto the UNESCO representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanities. The NGO organized troops for a series of demonstration performance with guided lessons and interactive activities in Yunnan theaters for participants to enhance their knowledge of the can opera and train them to appreciate this traditional art form. The organizer, the organizer expects the participant to become regular patron of the opera, supporting the art 
food taker sales in the long run. The third domain is social practice, rituals, and festive events. The corresponding activities are on-site festival and rituals guided tours. The villagers in Yunnan preserve a number of festivals and rituals, such as lantern lighting ritual, spring ancestral worship, Empress of Heaven Festival, and Yunnan Go Festival. The guided tour are led by Fort Lord's experts to interact with organizer of this event on site. This helps the resident, especially young people living in urban area, to learn more about the outer villages and their tradition. With an aim to narrow the urban world gap and strengthen the sense of belonging for the whole district. The fourth domain is knowledge and practice concerning nature and the universe. The corresponding activities is on-site making of herbal teas. There is a Chinese herbal medicine garden in Yunnan district, where over a thousand herbs are planted. Chinese medicine practitioners introduce the herbs to participants and guide them to choose, to choose the white combination of herbs for teas based on the season. After attending these activities, participants are expected to know how to buy the herbs from medical shop and make herbal teas on their own. The fifth domain is traditional craftsmanship. The corresponding activities are paper, craft, paper crafting, technical workshops. A paper crafting master in Yunlong lead a series of workshops to teach the technique. Throughout the Lunar New Year, the hand-on craft making improved an ancestor lantern for Chinese New Year, uh, just show uh, on the slide. <clears throat> and also uh, for the Empress of Heaven Festival, there will be a flower curtain and for the uh, Yunnan Gold Festival, uh, face helping and painting of the Gold Master uh, <coughs> will be helped. From those workshops, uh, potential apprentices for further training are expected uh, to be found for the uh, craftsmanship. Being the project holder, the NGO maintains a Facebook page to post announcement of these activities and other ISIC news of Yunnan districts. This online platform fosters communication between ISIC barrier, barrier organizations and other district stakeholders for the collaborative development of ISIC. During the project implementation, ISEARCH illustration with text description is produced one by one for advertisement of the corresponding activities. In the end, a guide booklet with an illustration map of ISEARCH element in Yunnan districts is published for the residents of and the travelers to Hong Kong for self-guided tour. Apart from free hard copy, Electronic copy in PDF format is available on the internet for wider promotion. With the above package, the ISEC integrates various ISEC resources, empower ISEC barrier and barrier organizations, and foster interaction between residents and ISEC barrier for sustainable development of ISEC in the Yunnan districts. Being empowered by the NGO, ISEC barrier and barrier organization would continue transmission on their own with more participation from the residents in the same districts. This holistic development model of community-based ISEC 
would be a valuable reference for other districts in Hong Kong, as well as other regions and countries. That's all my presentation. Uh, thank you for listening uh, and bear with me.